What's going on guys? Joe from Total Justice Gaming bring you another deck profile for our Hero World Week. I want to thank you guys for watching us. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments below. We love talking to the community, we enjoy your feedback, and we always take it to heart. So, uh, continuing today's videos. Uh, today is superhero time as we're trying to plow through... Two buddy fight videos a week this week, as there is a lot of hero world to go through. Um, so we are looking this time at Guy Grander, which is our parallel to Common Rider for superhero time. Uh, this is also one of my favorite decks. I actually took this to um, Indies, uh, Indiana. Didn't do so great, <laughs> but I enjoyed my time and I enjoyed meeting everybody there. Uh, Guy Grander is still one of my favorite decks. I always look to improve this one probably before any other deck in the game. So, our buddy is still Guy Grander 01, and we'll move right on into it. So, as I said, the buddy is Guy Grander 01. Uh, 01 is a 424. Uh, that's okay. He's a little bit below numbers, but, you know, we'll deal with it. Uh, he has the ability when he transforms, uh, you can pay two gauge and search your card for anything with Guy Grander in the name and put it into your hand. That's actually pretty decent. Uh, he has a transform cost of return up to one card with Guy Grander uh, in the name and pay a gauge and then transform into him. So we don't need to be transformed prior, but uh, we do have the choice of swapping him out with another guy grinder we're transformed into. Running him out of four of. Uh, we're running four copies of guy grinder zero two. Zero two is a five two five, so a bit healthier in terms of stats, hits numbers. Uh, his call cost is pay a gauge. When he comes to play, I can search my deck for a card with Guy Grander in its name and put it into my hand. So, again, search is always a good thing. The majority of the deck really searches itself out pretty quickly. Uh, we're Thankfully, we're not too reliant on any other, like, uh, stuff for recursion. We do have it, but we're not absolutely reliant on it, as both 0, 01 and 0, 02 pretty much get us everything we need fairly quickly. Uh, to run out zero one, however, we are running three copies of our finish form. Uh, we can crimson spin into it, get another attack uh, with penetrate. Uh, it's pretty healthy at a six three two again uh, with most superheroes. Uh, glass cannons, uh, healthy attacks, great crits, but low defenses. Uh, but that's why we can spin people back and forth to give ourselves better defenses. We're running him at a three of right now. Uh, also, speaking of threes, we're running three copies of Guy Grander three. Uh, we cannot transform into this Guy Grander, much like zero two. He is a utility card uh, with his ability the third guy when he's a field. If you transformed into a card with Guy Grander in its name, draw a card. So this lets nets us a card. Uh, still decent numbers at a four. Two and but he's really fragile again, like most superheroes at a one defense. Um, I run him at a three of because he nets me cards, he gives me uh numbers to swing with. If we link attack with like zero two, um, or even normal zero one, we can still hit at eights and nines. So we're still we're running him at a three of because he's more utility, like zero two. Uh, new to the guy granders is zero four. Uh, zero four is a five two three. Uh, when he attacks, if you're transformed into this card, choose a spell on the item in the opponent's field. If we do, pay a gauge and destroy it. Uh, to transform into him, you can turn up to one card with Guy Grander's name. You are can transform back into your hand and transform by paying a gauge. So, like zero one, you don't have to be transformed into a guy grinder previously to transform into him, which makes him really, really useful. On top of that, uh, he allows for uh, spell and item destruction, which those are being those are very, very relevant to the current status of the game right now. Uh, you see a lot of death counts and items everywhere, so he is definitely a worthy inclusion of the deck because he gives us that control that we needed to manage items and whatnot. 
he would have been really handy when I had all three of those toilet matches in Indianapolis. I'll just say that much. <laughs> We're running him at a two. I may even bump him up to a three, depending on uh, more play testing. But right now, he's okay at a two because we can search him out pretty easily. Uh, we are running three copies of uh, Metal Dragner uh, Gear Drake. Gear Drake is a 525 size 2. Uh, he has Soul Guard. We get the soul from the drop zone. Uh, if there is a soul on this monster, my items uh, cannot be destroyed by my opponent's effects, and the items get plus one crit on top of it. So this leads uh, finish form for a crit of 4, zero 1 at a crit of 3, zero 4 at a crit of four, uh, crit of 3. He's really, really needed in this deck. I'm glad he came out. Uh, I would have liked him to be like another Guy Grander, but I'll take what I can get. Uh, he sticks around for a little bit uh, because of the Soul Guard. Uh, I do like we have other ways of giving him Soul now in the deck, which we'll get to eventually. We're running him out of 3 of at the moment. Next up, we got good old Professor Menjo. We're running uh, Menjo out of three of. Uh, his call cost is pay gauge. I'm going to have to take a copy and read him because he is wordy. Uh, activate uh, put four or more cards from your drop zone. Four or more different cards from your drop zone at the bottom of the deck in any order. If you do, gauge two. Then if I put eight or more, I draw a card. If I put 12 or more, I can get a card from my deck and any card from my deck and shuffle it. I can only use this ability once per turn. So this lets me uh, refill my deck uh, as we're going to go through it very quickly. We are very, very reliant on gauge. So we'll be uh, diminishing our deck quite a bit and using quite a bit of gauge. So that Medjo really helps by replenishing the deck with his ability. Also netting us potentially gauge, draw, and getting any card we need at any given moment. Uh, we are running three of him. A uh, little personal text I found after Indianapolis. Um, running two copies of Cyber Police Commander Gale. Uh, he lets all other uh, heroes on the field get plus 1,000 power, and when a hero on the field attacks and destroys a monster, uh, it lets me gain a gauge. Um, Again, Gage is very needed in this deck, uh, So, and plus the added power bonus, while not extremely hefty, does allow us to be able to hit numbers by bumping the uh, lesser granders up to at least fives, and the other granders up to sixes. Uh, he also lets us net a Gage. So he's a good tech in there, um, lets me continue my gauge acceleration, gives me the ability to be able to hit numbers. So at least a two of, in my opinion. Uh, following him, we're running two copies of uh, Rescue Dragon Mock Braver. He's our dude that lets us put him from the hand into the field on the opponent's turn and redirect an attack. So this potent potentially lets us uh, save ourselves from the final swing, which would have killed us, by letting him take the hit. Uh, we can do this all for the simple cost of a gauge. So we're just running two of them because he's just an out for... Um, uh, non-impact kills. Speaking of impact kills, again, something else I learned while at Indianapolis. Impact monsters. They definitely need to be in decks that can run them. I really wish I remembered to run him. I was running uh, Pose and, um, and one of the other Wind Demons. Not Arla. I still don't have any Arla. I am looking into getting Arla's. Uh, this guy, though, uh, really good stats at a five at a seven two five. Uh, lets me come in and blow up a monster, potentially their center, and hopefully swing for game while sticking around. Uh, really great card for just a simple gauge. Uh, I really should have been running him in Indianapolis. I am now, and it's working out fantastically. So we're running three copies of the Flame Demon Mage Excellus. Moving on to spells now, as we don't have any items and we don't have any impacts. We just tried for brute strength kills in this deck. We're running four copies of Hyper Energy. Again, these are extremely necessary in this deck. This deck, unlike uh, 
my Super Sentai deck uh, is very reliant on gauge uh, because we got to swap out uh, guy granders on the fly. We got to have the gauge to do it. All of our monsters potentially cost gauge. Um, while not hefty, it's the repeated use of uh, swapping that uh, eats through our gauge pretty quickly. So we're running four copies of Hyper Energy. Again, four copies of I've Seen Through Your Moves. This is our. Generic open center shield for Hero World. Uh, this is the superhero variant, so we're running four copies of that. Uh, we're running two copies of the Shield of Justice Whenever Shatter. This is our nullify unless it's a link attack shield. Um, <laughs> so this allows us to still guard even if we're close center. Um, or just nullify attack if it's going and trying to swing in at a monster. So we're running just two of it. Uh, we need gauge and damage reduction in this deck uh, to live through because we are pretty fragile as a glass cannon. So we are running uh, Defeat Them in My Place. Uh, this lets me blow up a monster and get uh, a gauge and uh, damage reduction. Uh, so the next time we can be dealt damage is reduced to zero. So we can target like Guy Grander 0 2, Guy Grander 0 3. Uh, Commander Gale uh, to give us a gauge and uh, reduce damage to zero. A lot of the impacts now can be reduced. Uh, there are still a couple roaming around that can't be, but uh, impact kills are still a thing in the game. Um, they always will be, and I need some way out of it, and this lets me do it. Coming up next, we got two uh, the Ace Arrives. Uh, I've said this in the other deck profiles that run it. This is a really good card. Uh, seven Life or Less is very easy to manage. Uh, this lets me get a card and put it either in the soul of a card or put a card, put a card either in the soul or into my hand from the drop zone. Uh, this lets me refill the soul Gear Drake or give Gear Drake more soul, or this lets me go get... Uh, a guy grander that I need to transform into, like finish form or zero four or zero one, um, because unfortunately guy grander's big weakness is that they can still be uh, they're still subject to item destruction. So once they're in the discard pile, they're considered monsters again. So I can use Ace Rival to get them back to my hand. Running uh, two copies of Powered Body. Uh, Power Body lets me uh, negate its casting cost, which is pay a gauge or pay a life, but if I'm in six life or less, I don't have to pay the cast cost. Uh, for this turn, if I would be dealt damage to reduce to zero, again, this lets me uh, avoid potentially fatal uh, combat scenarios by reducing it to zero or uh, putting an impact's damage down to zero. Uh, we're running this out of two of because we're already running to defeat them in my place. And it's just a good overall card. Uh, it's potentially free, which makes it even better, so that's why I'm, on, I'm running it in addition to Defeat Them in My Place. Following that is the new other card that we got in the new set, uh, Guy Grander Communicator. Uh, Guy Grander Communicator is choose and use one of the following effects. You may only cast Guy Grander Communicator once per turn. For this turn, all cards with Guy Grander in their name... Uh, on their field gets plus 3,000 power, or I can counter and stand a card with Guy Grander in its name on my field. Uh, so this potentially lets me swing for a third time with Crimson Spin. Um, so we can swing once, we can Crimson Spin, Guy Grander Communicator, and Crimson Spin again. Uh, or excuse me, uh, swing again with uh, finish form, possibly uh, potentially killing them. Uh, this is a fantastic card. I'm only testing it out at a two of right now. I'm getting it okay. We do need a lot of like one of and two of since we are running Menjo to get that diversity out there to be able to use his ability more efficiently. Uh, I am seeing if this does need to be bumped up to a potentially a three of just to get it more often, but right now it's okay at a two. Uh, we're using Energy Absorption Machinery. Uh, we're running it at a two of. Uh, this is put a card uh, for a gauge. I can put a gauge for my opponent and a card from their soul into their drop zone and gain two life. So this lets me uh, 
slow down their gauge, uh, remove a soul from the opponent, which is pretty important in this meta because Jackknife is back. Uh, Athora's still around, and Zodiac is somewhere out there in the net, in the far reaches, um, probably waiting for a return, which we'll probably see because of that Gara. Um, and we gain two life because, again, uh, we are superheroes, so we are fragile. We are glass cannons, and life gain is always a good thing. Speaking of life gain, we are running one copy of Benefit. Uh, this lets me... Sack a size two or less monster and gain a gauge and gain two life. So this is just a another version of defeat them in my place. I'm only running it out of one of because again Menjo. Um, we're hitting a lot of the one ofs right now. Uh, this is the th this is the first of three. Uh, this does just let me uh, benefit for destruction. So if they destroy it, I can counter and benefit. Um, and profit off of the monster's death, which is worth it. So we're running out of one of. Uh, we're running one copy of So the Dream I Had Went. Uh, There's a spell nullification for the for Hero World. Uh, if I go in for damage, go in for kill, and they got a shield, I can just cast this, and I win the game. We're just running this out of one of. Uh, we do a fair amount of damage anyways because we are dealing with monsters with penetrate in the deck. So we're doing this. And then finally, one copy of 1,000 Years Too Early. Uh, you can only cast this if... Uh, you may only cast this card if you are being attacked. Uh, counter nullify the attack, and for the rest of the turn, uh, items on your field get plus 1,000 defense. Um, that's pretty good in this deck. Again, we're kind of a glass cannon. Um, I'm not really sure how much uh, 1,000 defense is going to do us in this deck in particular, but it's another nullify attack that doesn't have a restriction on it. So it doesn't matter if they're link attacking, it doesn't matter if my center is open or closed. I can cast 1,000 years too early, uh, 100,000 years too early, excuse me, and nullify the attack. So, we got that. Um, this deck does have a cyborg, so we'll run through that real quick. We're running three copies of New Plasma Mind. Uh, this lets us nullify the call of a monster the size two or lower. So, this helps us with our bots matchup. Uh, we're running There I See It. Uh, this helps me with um, size one rush decks, similar, such as toilets or stuff like that. Gain, engage, counter, destroy size one or less. Uh, that's a shallow shot. We're running two copies of that. Uh, this lets us blow up a monster with 5,000 or less power. Uh, since 5,000 is pretty much what we hear at Total Justice Gaming, and I believe some other channels, uh, their names escape me at the moment. I want to say Team Plays for Days as the 5,000 power as a benchmark. Uh, so we are running that uh, to shoot down any monster with 5,000 or less power and just not have to deal with them. We're running that into two of. We're running one copy of uh, the classic version of Nego Balls. Uh, this to help us with our chaos matchup. Uh, just burns the crap out of them for destroying their monsters. So that's that. And then we're running one final copy of So the Dream I Had Went in case I need just that to be able to draw it a bit more consistently. Again, the deck is not solely dependent, dependent on getting that card for winning, but getting an extra one in the deck to help make it possible to draw it at the time we need, do need it is needed, is good. So guys, that's it for Guy Grander. Again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I did learn a lot. I got a good good bit of feedback from you guys once I got back from Indy and told my tales of the improbable three toilet matchup, which is just, I don't even want to think about that <laughs> again. Uh, so guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments. I love your feedback, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching.